All right, I've got another mystery package. I'm kind of surprised that this actually made it through because it's not terribly well packaged. You can see right here, it's torn open and it's rather flimsy cardboard. So let's hope the contents are okay. So this one is from Robin in Norway. Kind of hard to keep track of everything uh, with the hundreds of messages I get on Facebook and, and elsewhere every day. And there's several people who offer to send things. And, you know, sometimes I just lose track because of everything that's going on. I have a suspicion what this is. If it really is what I think, then this is something that he sent specifically to destroy. Um, let's see if I'm correct. Yes, it is. Okay, so I do... I did indeed remember correctly. So this is something that he wanted me to just do some really rough testing with. And there appears to be a note. Let's see here. Right there. I'm just going to read that first. Um, if I can, I guess the the toner died or something. Um, anyway, yeah, in fact, it says your first sentence, low ink, sorry. Uh, hi, Scal, and welcome to my very first sword, which I bought half illegally at the age of 16. It's the only sword I ever abused in order to get to know how much swords can handle and what to expect from them. I have since handled more swords, but not abused any of them. It's pretty funny to me that I abused it before finding your channel and not after. Yeah, I guess some of the tests I do kind of inspire abusive testing, don't they? Um, I guess we're alike, eh? It seems so. Anywho, I hope to see it destroyed. And you shall. It's just a matter of time. I do have a gaming channel with 99% pure gameplay called Ash Slayer Games and also a vlogging channel called, called Ash Will Speak. Okay, I'll check that out as soon as I have time, whenever that is. Uh, time. But I'll, I'll seriously, I'll try to take a look at it. Uh, I do have to admit my vlogging channel has been shit for the past three years, seeing as I went through the toughest year of my life and let a lot of my negative feelings change how I vlogged. And here the, the low ink really makes it difficult. Uh, how I vlog, I am making an effort an effort to change, however, and I'm trying to become more optimistic. Good on you, that's always a good thing. And uh, sorry to hear about your troubles. I mean, I can definitely understand that lately things have been a little crazy around here and very busy and chaotic and whatnot. I mean, nothing too terrible, but, you know, sometimes it is easy to get into a, a bad mindset of, uh, everything is just annoying right now nothing goes entirely according to plan and uh, you know that sort of thing anyway um staying positive okay cut out some of the noise because i figured it's probably quite loud especially considering that this is right in front of the mic but then again i know that some of you really love bubble wrap sounds right so yeah you can probably already guess what this is yes bestest sword ever uh-huh yeah, just so happens to be a type of sword that I'm personally not very interested in, which is uh, probably also why he got the idea of sending it to me for destruction. Also, just it just so happens to be that. <laughs> There's some tape here. Yeah, I can see. It, it already has seen some abuse. Oh, yes, some pretty substantial abuse, I can see. The, uh, the blade is nicked quite a bit here. Uh, by the way, I've said this on a few occasions, but once again, I do not hate katanas. I know that a lot of people think that, but I'm mainly just indifferent towards them. I'm, I'm just not a fan of how they handle. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the, the um, handle wrap and, you know, the overall shape. Just, I don't know, just doesn't do it for me. The discard I've become a little less critical of over time, even though it's still not something that I particularly like. Um, that is really quite dull for a katana. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, the point is to destroy it. Ooh, I also feel some rattling in there already. So yeah, this shouldn't take much to destroy. So I'm going to do that as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, thank you for sending that. There was another thing in there apparently. Um, I saw on the, the customs form, it said sword and dinky knife. <laughs> That was pretty amusing. Dinky. Let's see. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right, got it. So let's see. What is this? Oh, that actually looks pretty decent for a dinky knife. <laughs> Wait, he just grabbed it. Not sure what it is. It's wrapped in some kind of cloth tape. And... Oh, there's the tang here at the end so it is full tang which is nice and uh yeah you know, that's actually pretty decent at least you know, as far as i can tell i have no idea what kind of steel is it's very dull uh but you know, it's a nice shape overall so yes again thank you and um i very much appreciate being able to destroy things because i mean who doesn't right destruction is just fun it's part of our human nature to destroy things like the environment and uh, anyway okay and there is another thing i got this one i already tore into because i thought it was something else and then i noticed wait a moment i did not order this so someone else sent this in um let me see here what does it say? I'm not sure. It actually looks like a company name or something. Apparently it's from New York. I... This one, I have no clue. Literally. It's, it's kind of funny to get things in the mail that, I, that you have no idea what they are or where they came from. But, um, oh well. As long as it's not anthrax, I'm okay. <laughs> so... This is an M-Tech knife, apparently. So M-Tech is of a pretty common budget brand for knives. And, uh, oh, looks like that is definitely a fighting knife. Ah, all right. So it looks like we've got a subhilled buoy. And it looks pretty good. That is really nice, actually. Uh, I'll have to see, does it say? It just says stainless steel handcrafted in China. So I'm, I'm assuming it's either 420 or 440. That's usually what it is when it doesn't say. And uh, yeah, I said uh, Mtech is a budget brand, so they usually don't go above that uh, from what I've seen at least. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that the steel is not too bad because I very much like the shape. There's something about the sub hilt that is very appealing. I've always liked that. Not quite sure what the handle scales are. It might be wood or it might be some kind of plastic that is trying to look like wood. I can't quite tell. Well, yeah, pretty hefty blade. So that should be useful for chopping or batoning. But generally this sort of shape, the sub hilt is usually intended as a combat knife. And uh, yeah, that it would do quite well. So that's nice. So thank you, whoever you are. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I can't really figure out the name. So thank you, mystery person. Anyway, so that's some pretty interesting stuff. And otherwise, I also want to rant a little bit about something, namely how difficult YouTube has made it to communicate with people. I mean, I generally try as much as I can to you know, communicate with you folks and, and you know, reply to comments and read them, uh, which is <laughs> really difficult. It's not really practically feasible to keep up anywhere near as much as I'd like, but you know, I'm trying at least. But YouTube has, has been making it stupidly difficult. I mean, there, there was a time when I could set it up so that I get email notifications for replies. So if some somebody replies to something I posted, so if I reply to a comment and then they reply to my reply, I would get an email. Not the case anymore. It still looks like, like when I go to the settings, it still looks like that's what it does, but it's not the case. Now it just 
randomly sends me notifications for comments. But I say randomly because, you know, just some comments and there's no indication of how those are picked. It's just completely arbitrary and it makes no sense. So the problem now is essentially I cannot reply to replies anymore. Because the way it is, the only thing I can do right now is look at the list of comments. So essentially when I go to my dashboard on YouTube and then go to community, there's under comments, it just lists the recent ones. But it just, you know, they keep piling up, of course. And I can't keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to see older ones. And even if I do, even if I really scroll like crazy, uh, eventually it stops showing me comments. It just, it only goes back like a couple of days or so. <laughs> and I used to be able to use Google Plus for that because on Google Plus, the, the notifications would include new things and now that's no longer the case it doesn't update anymore for some reason so now it's just randomly showing me notifications from really old videos and it doesn't keep up with the new stuff i have no idea what's going on or why that is and i've been trying to mess around with the settings and then trying to figure out a way to restore this to a uh, you know way in which i can actually reply no so essentially as it is right now i can only reply to newer comments and I probably will never see the response to that, if there is one. <sighs> YouTube is just getting more and more frustrating to use, unfortunately, for a variety of reasons. Unfortunately, we don't have good options, uh, I mean alternatives yet. I was trying to get it set up on Vidme, but I mean, I have, I have a, a second channel on YouTube that I now use for personal stuff. I. I've done very little on that. I mean, I've uploaded occasionally. If you don't even know about that, it'll be linked in the video description. But it's been really difficult to keep up with that. It's difficult enough to keep up with the main channel. And that one I'm struggling to keep up with. And then yet another on a different platform entirely. I just don't have the time. I just can't do it. And the, the income is so low these days that, you know, employing somebody like an assistant to, to do that for me, no way. It's just not happening. But yeah, so if if I've replied to one of your comments and you reply to that and you're wondering why I'm not getting back to you, that's why I'm not seeing it, which sucks, but that's how it is. I mean, at least through Patreon, I'm able to read everything and reply to everything because it allows me to narrow it down and focus more on that and prioritize those because those are people that actually throw money at the channel. I kind of hate to have to do this, you know, commercialization, if you will, but it gives me a way to decide what to prioritize and you know, spend more time on this. And I can afford to spend more time on there so I can actually have proper, you know, communication with people, which YouTube is, eh. Anyway, enough complaining. We talked about negativity and optimism in the beginning. So yeah, we'll figure out ways to deal with it and, and things will go on. You know, the show must go on and all of that. I've got a lot of things planned. It's just a matter of, you know, preparation, very time consuming things on my to-do list right now. So it'll take a while, but there's some good stuff coming. So yeah, thanks again, everybody for sticking around, watching stuff and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Have a good one.